Your life will be at risk. And if he had killed every member of your family, would you just shut up and go away? We're running on empty now, Harry. A few days at best. What will you do? We'll start with a program of rolling power cuts. Three to five hours in different places. It's been costed? Billions off the economy, a huge blow to investor confidence. The deal is going ahead, though. Slowly. But it's our last hope now. The Tazbeks can sense our desperation and have started to up their demands. Time's running out. We must take the initiative, so I want to know what the Tazbek delegation is saying outside of the negotiations. Bugging the hotel isn't an option, but we're looking into other possibilities. Strip joints, basically. Taking one for the team there, Lucas? We know the Tazbeks are using the strip club for post-negotiations r and We know that it's a mafia haunt, so that it's likely that we'll find Thumper's hitman there. OK. I'm going to take a look, check out the possibility of fitting some listening devices. Derek's pretty good with the tech stuff. He built the miniature high-resolution camera into my watch. Yes, we've got it now. The hitman is Gosguli Garadanov. He runs drugs and girls out of the club, old army buddy of Thumper. I think we'll know him as Flopsy. He was the one who was tailing Bibi. I think they're lining something else up. Thumper had a copy of the newspaper that Plowden writes for. Did I not say to shut that bloody journalist up? We're supposed to be MI5, not the Stoke Newington branch of the Green Party. I'd like to think we can play a little dirty sometimes. Thumper's the one who's playing dirty. He thinks because we need his gas that he can do what he likes. Yeah, well, up to a point, he's right. OK, I'll go lean on Plowden a lot harder. Let him know what the score is. Threaten his career and livelihood. That often does the trick with soft-centred media types. Shall I speak to Thumper? Warn him off? You're supposed to be special advisor to the Home Secretary. He knows what I am. He's not stupid. All right. But very, very delicately, Ross. Let me be absolutely clear. Our energy security trumps everything at this point. You might want to take a look at this. What is it? The lip-reading software from the strip club. It's given us a live translation from the Russian, but I think they're coding. Talking in euphemisms. Because of Plowden's press campaign against them. They're going to take him out. Where is he now? We're running a tracker on his mobile and playing it through CCTV feeds. Do it quicker. He's going to the internet cafe. Maybe he wants to meet with Bibi. They're starting to pick off their targets. Stay in contact. Lucas Plowden's back in the cafe. Keep a visual on him. I'm nearly there. Yeah, we'll do. He's, um... Hold on a minute, but... Flopsy's in the cafe. Get him out of there, now! Warn him!
plans for tonight, Mr. Yourself? Do you? I'm not really one for the nightlife. You're worried for me, no? Why do you say that? The way your eyes keep looking to the door. It seems the Russians will send somebody after me. It's a distinct possibility, yes. I like to think it is because you have, um, oh, what is the expression? You have, uh, you have taken a shine to me. I'm married. You know, I did hear about the journalist that was killed. The one spreading lies about me. Yes. And his widow is saying that it was the British security services. We don't usually kill troublesome journalists. Yeah, not everybody has the freedoms we have in my country. You don't have carte blanche, Mr. Yurisov. Right, what will you do? Send us home and say you no longer need our gas? Of course I know I don't have carte blanche. Good. But I would also expect you not to pay too much attention to my business activities here at such a delicate time in talks. I must take them out. Entertain them, find them girls. Would you like any additional security? <laughs> well, don't you worry about the Russians. We know them a lot better than you do. Good evening. Point is, Matthew Plowden was a British citizen. Plowden stood up and painted a massive target on himself. Now, sometimes you get a press award, sometimes you get something quite different. The person who had him killed is openly gloating about it. It'll be BB next. I know that, Joe, and I have told Thumper that he does not have carte blanche. Thumper is making it quite clear what the price of keeping him on board yeah, is. Yeah, and that's a price that keeps going up. But without the Tazbek gas, we'll pay a much higher price. Besides, BB Saparova is not a British citizen. Harry? The Tazbeks have started to stall at the talks. We need their gas. We do not need more obstacles. Are you saying that BB is a price worth paying? That we should just look the other way? Operational matters are down to you. But I do not want the talks jeopardized. I am also still waiting to hear what the Tazbek delegation are saying away from the negotiating table. Now, these are your priorities. Not some bloody poet who's ignored every warning we've given her. Uh, can I have a word? I went through all Plowden's online friends and kept his status open, posted a few things to suggest he's still alive and <laughs> carry on drawing in his contacts. Nice. Oh, and your response? There was only one of them I couldn't hack into, Violet Franklin. Her status was protected with encryption devices you really wouldn't expect on a social networking site. Violet Franklin? But once I'd hijacked his status, I was able to get a location from which he posted, even though I couldn't read the message. The American Embassy. <laughs> nice work, Tarek. I'll set up a meet. Fed the journalist. Franklin was my favorite American president, of course. Violet. I just like the name and the flower. Why did you do it? Because you needed a lesson for double crossing me. Made it a bit hard for you to catch me, but not impossible. I like our meetings. This isn't a game, Sarah. Rustam Urazov had the journalist killed. And now you know what you're dealing with, don't you? All this to make the point that you're just a bit pissed off with us. Bryn's on the brink, and you're playing out a grudge. I could never have done this unsanctioned. Nobody wants your sordid little deal to go through. On this one, we are in total agreement with the Russians. Ah, well, that's good to know. The world's gone bipolar again. You think the Russians are going to allow a hardline nationalist regime to flourish in Tazbekistan? Sarah. You think we're just going to let them cozy up to Iran and China? You stay out of this. If you interfere again, I, I will... do such things. What they are yet, I know not, but they shall be the terrors of the earth. Come on, Lucas, stay. Let's talk. Hey, don't ignore a friend's request.
is with great regret that I must inform the House that the rolling power cuts will be from three to five hours.